everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Gabriella. I make videos about astrology, self-care, mental health, Disney life, theater life, and anything else I feel like talking about. Today, we're gonna be doing a little video about one of my favorite topics, probably my favorite topic, before makeup, before skincare, fragrance. I love perfume. I think more than, even more than clothes. I love perfume. This is a little spinny perfume wardrobe that I keep in my bedroom, and I put all the perfumes that I'm currently using on there, sort of like a little capsule. I bought this from Amazon. It wasn't dirt cheap, but I love it, and it's very pretty, and it was worth it to me, and I needed something like that to store my um, perfumes. So I have a bunch of other perfumes in here and in here, and we're just gonna go through. I thought I was gonna get ready today and kind of knock out a bunch of astrology videos, but honestly, I am not in the mood. I wanna just do something for me. Um, and smelling perfumes and organizing really de helps me de-stress. So we're gonna do this instead. So let's start with my fragrance wardrobe. So we'll start with the bottom. We've got Cloud by Ariana Grande. Oh, I love this fragrance. Ah, uh, I'm gonna keep this, cause this is not too wintry, but it is quite warm. I love all of her fragrances. They are very like teenage, sweet, sugary, like, you know, gourmand, super, super sweet, but I like, I love that. So we're gonna keep her out because I love this. Um, Dominique Ropion, Carnal Flower from Frederick Mall. I love this one. This is a very great, this is a wonderful springtime fragrance. This is, um, one of my more expensive fragrances. It is a uh, white flower. I always get compliments when, when I wear this. This would be something I would definitely wear on a vacation, uh, on a spring or summer day. It's, it's just a ton of sweet, syrupy white flowers, but it's really sexy, which I think it's appropriate that it's called carnal flower because it's, it's not your typical floral because I don't really wear florals, they give me a headache. So a little goes a long way with this one, but I love this, this is perfect for spring. It was actually, I shouldn't have really had it out for winter, but, oh, this I got from Target. This is by Soli Notes. Um, this is an uh, Fleur d'Oranger. This is a orange blossom fragrance. And orange blossom is, I think more than rose, my favorite smell in the world. I have to keep this out. This is just sunshine and hope in a bottle. Orange Blossom means a lot to me. That, that fragrance is really uplifting and inspiring to me. Um, I spoke about it on, uh, I recently did a doing my makeup chat sort of live stream and I kind of talk about it there, but oh, this is just gorgeous. And it was like 15 bucks and honestly, I love it. Mac, oh, this was like my fragrance late summer into fall. Like, I would say September to November. This is Creme de Nude by MAC. Oh, 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 this is so good. I honestly would use this like a body spray because it's not like, uh, it won't really give you a headache. MAC Turquatic, I love that fragrance, but it always gives me a headache. I've never been able to use it. But this is just, oh, like warm vanilla sugar. Oh my gosh, honestly. I think I still wanna keep this for spring. I love this. Okay, this is Oisho number one. This is literally note for note, Santal 33 by the label. Oh my God, it's good. Ugh, am I gonna keep this out too? Okay, this is like gonna be a maybe because it's not spicy. It's kind of mossy and it's very unisex. Mm, it's so good. I think this was cheap too. I got this in Portugal. I think it's too wintry though. I need to give it a rest. This is definitely going away. This is the Montal Oud Lavender. This is amazing. I'm not sure if they intended this for men or something. Um, this is an incredible fragrance. Incredible. I would have never tried it because I'm like, I don't want to wear a lavender perfume. I love the smell of lavender, but I don't find it like very sexy and but this is, I sprayed this on myself in a perfume shop in Beverly Hills, like my favorite little perfume shop. And on my skin, I could not stop smelling myself. It is addictive, it is, oh, it's gorgeous. Um, and I don't know who it's intended for, I don't really care. 
Uh, people always tell me I smell like a sexy man when I wear this, but I don't care. I know a lot of people wear men's colognes. It's no big deal to me. Um, but yeah, the, the woman who was, I wore this during, all through Christmas time. And the woman who was doing my hair in the show I was in was like, you smell like a sexy daddy. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. So, th but this is very cold weather. I sprayed this, so much of this on me the other day just to like uplift my spirits and I got a headache, it was too much. So this needs to go away. <laughs> this is by also, uh, this is from Target, Soli Notes Jasmine. This is okay, it smells a little, this one kind of smells cheapy bathroom spray to me. I mean, does it? I don't know. It's a little heady to me. Well, it does smell pretty good. But it's kind of like, it's a, it's heady, powdery, floral, and that doesn't really do it for me. So I'm gonna keep this maybe by my bedside as a linen spray. Uh, Good Chemistry Brainiac. This is another Target fragrance. I love this. This is like, totally, if you love those Lilabo type scents, kind of like unisex. Oh, this is good. Oh my God. Clean and practical with a bit of wit. This is just so good and it's like 15, 20 bucks. Uh, but it's a winter fragrance to me. It's definitely masculine and those kind of fragrances I save for colder weather. So you're going away. This is like a rainy day weather fragrance actually, which is winter in LA, rain all the time. Hanne Mori, this is that, uh, the blue butterfly. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is really good. This is a good springtime fragrance and I need to wear it more. So this is like elegant, syrupy, but not, uh, it doesn't give me like erotic, it doesn't evoke erotic, sensual. It's like a really, really elegant woman and how her collarbone would smell. I adore this fragrance. Why don't I wear it more? It's just so elegant, you know? It's a really elegant fragrance and so it's not something I just throw on on a t-shirt. But maybe I would feel a little more elevated if I did. 1932 by Chanel, this is a great fragrance. The main star note of this is Jasmine, but it is a typical Chanel in the sense that it smells like their other fragrances. Um, it is heady. You know, it's elegant, it's sparkling. It's, it has that champagne sort of smell. Um, Chanel's fragrances are not like low. I don't know how to explain it. I almost smell things like music sort of. They're not like low deep notes. They're like high twinkly little high piano notes or high flute notes. Oh my gosh. Watch me be like the, 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 synest, the synesthesia perfume girl. But yeah, this is like twinkly, you know? Or like diamonds in a champagne glass. This is really elegant and I should wear it more. And since I'm gonna be cooped up, I have a reason to try and feel a little more elegant and feel like there's an occasion. And this is, I just adore this bottle. Oh my gosh. So I'll keep you out. I'm not sure about this Mac one, honestly. No, I think it's winter. I need to give it a break. It was like my fall fragrance and I just, I'll come back to it in a little bit and it'll bring back a bunch of memories and it'll be great. So we're gonna put you away. This is another Montal, this is Vanilla Cake. I bought this at the same Beverly Hills store. I love this-ish, but it has no staying power on me at least, at all. On my clothes, on my skin, in my hair, nothing. But it does smell like you're smelling a vanilla cake. And there's like a powdery, a little bit of a powderiness to it. So it's not like sickening syrupy, it's powder vanilla cake. It's all right, but I don't think it's springtime. We're gonna take a break. I don't reach for it because I just know it's not gonna last. But if you have like, okay, if you've got somebody coming over and like especially like a Taurus guy, if we're gonna get into astrology, somebody who will pay attention to fragrance and who loves, I mean, men are notorious. They like vanilla. It's a very, you know, arousing fragrance for them. They're simple. A lot of people who date men, they know if you wear something with vanilla or like a sandalwood or amber, they, it gets them going. So this is good like if you have a, an appointment and spray that on you because it won't, you know, it won't overwhelm them. But I don't have any appointments coming up. So this is Nest. Uh, my mom got me a, um, a little sample, like one of those Sephora gifts for Christmas where you get a bunch of little samples and then you can use that certificate to get a full size. 
This is wild poppy. Ugh. This is like, I could maybe turn this into a room spray with some water. This is so, like, this is way too floral for me. Not that I, I mean, what if I use a tiny bit? Let's see. It's just like, I can, it's like a headache. <laughs> this stuff, it's so weird for me. Like the Chloe fragrances, anything like that. It's like a headache in a bottle. Oh, you know what? <laughs> she might be kind of cute. Well, okay, <laughs> she's a lot. And she kind of smells like a Victoria's Secret body spray. Oh, I can't decide. It's, it's already giving me a headache, so no. But I'll save it for a friend, maybe. Okay. Uh, Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Noir. So I had like a little bit of a mental breakdown a couple months ago. And whenever I have a mental breakdown, I decide that I have to, you know, reinvent myself. And a lot of that is like, I just, if I embrace my sexiness more, I'm going to be better, which is true. You need to embrace your feminine energy if that's something you want to do, but like it doesn't require you to buy things, but I'll go to Victoria's Secret and drop like a lot of money on lingerie and clothes because Victoria's Secret sells so well. They sell that idea that sexy women wear their clothes and even in their loungewear, a giant big t-shirt and sloppy sweats, you're going to feel hot. And it's like, no, you're not stylized in a freaking shoot. But I got a bunch of Victoria's Secret stuff, long story short. I was like, I need to feel sexy. A lot of it is so, you can tell that, like, I don't know. <laughs> I think Bath and Body Works really has them beat with fragrances, even, uh, you know? I do like teas. Okay, anyway, Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Noir Fragrance Mist. This is Creamy Vanilla Warm Pear Bare Vanilla. This is uh, winter to me, so no. I'm finishing up the body lotion right now. I just like this bottle. <laughs> it, you know what? You know why I buy these is because nostalgia really makes me feel comfortable. So honestly, going into Abercrombie and Fitch now that they have some stores open and and wearing that and smelling that and and getting Victoria's Secret little body sprays or getting uh, Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation, like little things like that that were prominent and cool when I was in middle school and high school. It's really weird, but when I need to dissociate, when I need to feel less anxious, those things are so comforting to me, especially like, oh my gosh, Bath and Body Works, Moonlit Path. I don't even have that, but I gotta get some. My mom has been wearing that since I was born, and that will, I hope they never discontinue it because that will always comfort the hell out of me. Uh, anyway, I just did a Bath and Body Works order for candles and and wallflowers because I'm just burning through them because I'm home all the time, so I'll be doing a haul soon. Very like 2012 of me. But this is uh, Midnight Petals, and this is Dark Magnolia, Honeysuckle Star, and Mystical Bouquet. This just looks like spring to me. What's up with this? Oh, she's good, yep. Yeah. Mm. It smells a little pineapple-y to me, but it says that it's not in here. Maybe that's the honeysuckle. Mm. She's good. She's going in here. Midnight Petals Fragrance Lotion. I'll keep this out because I'm almost through the... Or maybe I'll even just switch it out with the Bare Vanilla and start using this because it's springtime. Yeah. Um, oh, this one is fun. This is Banana Twist by Victoria's Secret. And it is so strange. It is like... It is banana. I don't know if, if, if you didn't tell me. I wouldn't be able to put my finger on it, I don't think. Because it's not like a banana, it's not like you just peeled a banana and you're sniffing it. It's like a little note of banana bread, but also a lime infusion. I don't, I don't know if I smell the lime. It almost smells, there was this fragrance they had called uh, something vanilla or vanilla something. And it almost on the skin a little bit smelled like cigarettes or tobacco. I know that sounds crazy, but it was intoxicating and I'm not like I'm not obsessed with the smell of cigarettes but it was good this has that this is a, a little bit of a lower note I think this is really good I'm gonna keep this out it just makes me really happy <laughs> Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals in Bloom this is Peony Garden Lychee Blush a Velvet Petals Bouquet it's like a you know this bottle kind of just got me it reminded me of like Love Spell and I know they had Love Spell I never owned any of those because I just don't like florals um and all my friends had them and it was so cool but i vanilla lace that's the one i liked i've always been like a warm fragrance girl this is like bad <laughs> 
This is like 12 year old first perfume. Ugh, what am I gonna use this for? I don't know. I'm gonna put this and the poppy in its own pile and I will figure out what to do with y'all on my own time. Mancera, this is, I believe Mancera has the same nose as Montal, or it's the same, owned by the same, I don't know. Anyway, this is Rose Vanille, Eau de Parfum. This is, ugh, look how elegant. This is vanilla and rose. To me, this is too heavy for spring. Yeah, oh my gosh, this takes me back. I got all three of these, the Montals and the Mancera when I was doing that show in Beverly Hills and it's taking me back because the memories were good. I was making money. I was doing live theater. I had prospects. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. I felt good about myself. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's crazy how it can just take you back just a couple months. Anyway, you're going away for a little bit. You kind of make me sad. All right, so more of these Sephora samples. This is Tory Burch. I think it's just Tory Burch. Like, ugh, they all smell the same. I don't even need to smell this on my skin. I know it's gonna give me a migraine. I can't even describe it. Chloe, I've tried this, does not work for me. Ugh, I can't do it. I'll just give, it, give them away to some friends. This is Amazing Grace. I do enjoy this one. This is a philosophy amazing grace. I used to wear this all the time in college or was it pure grace? I think I wore pure grace. This is good. This is okay for spring. Yeah, I'll save this. Um, this is so clean. This is like, this is like soap. Ugh, just like a beauty. This is Virgo rising fragrance, baby. Ugh, totally. Just clean, feminine. This is the closest thing I'll ever wear to like a laundry or fresh cotton type of fragrance. I do like this. Toca Florence. I think I liked this one. I think this is white flowers, but it gave me a headache. Mmm. It's good. Do I like it? What's with, what are the, what are the, <laughs> oh my God. Dolce & Gabbana light blue came in this. I immediately threw it out. I was like, goodbye, you're not welcome here. I, I literally cannot stand that fragrance. It gives me, no, no offense if you wear it, for me. It gives me the worst migraine, and I've probably smelled people who wear it and enjoyed it, but it is like, don't bring that ish around me. Clean, oh, I have all these other ones too. I don't know where they went. Maybe I put them away. Okay, ugh, light blue, don't even. Saint by Kat Von D, wasn't a fan of that one. Mm. Gardenia, tuberose, and iris. Yeah, honestly, I could, I'll, I'll try her. She's totally spring, so I'll try her. A couple samples up here, we have L'Autre Oud by Lancome. Oh my gosh, this is one of their like exclusive fragrances. They're like 200 something dollars. So good, but even better than that is Oud Bouquet. I can't, do I have that here? It's almost out. I don't know where it is. What is this one? Oh, this is, oh my God. Okay, so Oud Bouquet is amazing by Lancome. That's like my next purchase besides this one, which is C by Arma, um, Giorgio Armani, but it's the C Fiori, so it's like a pink, uh, opaque bottle. It's not see-through. Oh my goodness, this is the perfect floral for me. It is creamy, it's, it very much reminds me of sort of like La Vie est Belle by Lancôme or like maybe Trésor, like any of their like creamy, sexy, you know, it's not, to me, it's very unique because it is a floral that does not give me a headache and it smells like skin, sort of. But it's not like one of those that's gonna turn heads as like, that's strange, I've never smelled anything like that. It's just the perfect everyday floral, I love this. I kinda wanna order myself a bottle as a treat, but I also don't wanna cement this kind of sad quarantine period with a perfume because I might not wanna wear it again. <laughs> I don't know. Why by Yves Saint Laurent? This is for men, this is a cologne, so I will just, that there. Instant Crush by Mancera. Uh, oh, 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 this is sexy. This is sexy. And I literally asked for a bottle of this 
or a sample because of the name like instant crush is someone gonna have an instant crush on me excuse me oh my god and this stays on you forever oh I don't know who this was made for I this is this is rich sexy and rich oh this is like sexy rich Beverly Hills honey because this is when I was wearing it I'm not rich but I can be sexy this is winter though this is very heavy but oh my god it's so good okay now we will just go through this little box this is a Bottega Louis like little macaron box that one of my friends got me uh, she got me she was my secret Santa so she got me macaron okay we have a scent bird fragrance this one is oh uh, Salvatore Ferragamo no it's not Ferragamo it's Italian let me try again Salvatore Ferragamo 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 Fer Ferragamo Signorina Misteriosa Is that is it a soft is it Misteriosa or Misteriosa? Misteriosa. I think it's I don't know different than Spanish. Oh, this is yummy. This is um this is like you know, you've got some money but you are this is um I can't say it on YouTube, but I love this type of fragrance. This is like this is like a loose woman fragrance. <laughs> I love a loose woman fragrance, okay? Because the thing is, most of the time I don't dress super sexy revealing, so I like to dress how I dress, but then like my fragrance is like, boom! And people are like, wait, what? And your fragrance can tell a little story about you. It's like, appearance is not everything. Mm, but this is winter to me. This is syrupy. Okay, this is so good. I got this in San Francisco last year. This is Tarot Beauty, Jasmine, and this is, oh, I don't even see the, oh my gosh. The, it's completely rubbed off. Ka Kali? Anyway, it's Indigo Beauty, Tarot Beauty Oil. Um, it was 22 bucks. It's a roller. It's so good. Oh, this is so good. It's jasmine, but it's not sharp. It almost smells oily. You can almost smell that it's in an oil. Oh my gosh. It's clean. It's clean jasmine, but warm skin melts into your body chemistry. This is good. I gotta start using this again. Um, Atelier Colon. This is Pacific Lime. This is another one of those Sephora things. Yeah, I love, I live for a lime. This is so good, especially after the gym like to feel real squeaky clean love this i'm into a citrus these days not so much lemon but i think my another purchase ugh, gabby another thing i want to get is hermes they make um pamplemousse rose they make a grapefruit and rose fragrance and it is good i tried it while i was in was it barney's or neiman neiman marcus in new york and it is good Another sample from the Beverly Hills store, Delina Exclusive by Parfum de Marly. This is very good. Everybody loves this in the fragrance community on YouTube, but it's too heavy for right now, right? I mean, this is like I would have to be leaving the house or else I'm going to like fumigate myself. Is that the right word? But it also smells like shampoo, like in the best way. Um, She can stay out. She can stay out. Knowing what the bottle looks like, she's not just a winter fragrance. Prada Candy, I was so not into this for so long, and actually, it is amazing, and I, another fragrance I want is Prada Candy Gloss. Prada Candy is good, honey. Ugh, oh, but it's winter time, or at least I'm gonna make it winter time for now. I think I got some alcohol in my throat, because I'm, ugh. Oh, shout out, by the way, if you like this shirt, this is by a company called Mischief Made. Look, it's a little mousy. I love rodents. A mouse with a mouse trap. And on the back is cheese. And they sent me this awesome sticker. They didn't send it. I mean, they included that in my order, but I paid for my order. They don't know who I am. But I'm obsessed with your products, Mischief Made, because I'm trying to go from a little bit more of a pinup look and like embrace that sort of style into my own everyday style but i'm a, i love t-shirts so something like this is so me also i love mice this is really good oh my gosh what is this <gasps> where did i even buy this oh i bought this from detox market this is 
1118 or 1111 or or did I buy it from Credo? I bought it from Credo in Chicago. It's a roller ball. It's completely everything has come off. Does this even have a fragrance anymore? Oh, this is like done. Oh, that's such a bummer. Okay, well, she can be tossed. This does not smell good anymore, but this was at one point like the most amazing fragrance I owned. It's it's like 1118. It's it's numbers. So if you look on Credo, their fragrances you'll find. I've got to reorder this because it's really, really good. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, all right. F samples out the wazoo. Oh, the Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. This was really good. But it's empty. Bye. Um, the Harmonist Magnetic Wood. No. Mm-mm. Yin transformation. Oh, I had the Yang Yang transformation. I'll give her a try. Okay. The Yang transformation from them was so good. Sh uh, Gabrielle by Chanel. Yeah, I'll keep this just to use it up. It's fine. I wish I liked it more because it's so close to my name. Ugh. Sorry, my nose itches. And and Coco Chanel had the same birthday as me, but it's not my favorite. Oh, this is Calming Lavender Mist. This I can use in my room. This is Mancera. This is, oh, this is um, their uh, chocolate, roses and chocolate fragrance. This is totally winter, but it's so unique. So good. And we have YSL Black Opium. This is not springtime to me, really. So, and I am not going to be going clubbing anytime soon, so she can go away. Dolce & Gabbana, this set's not relevant, why did I say that? A lot of my scent bird fragrances are in here, so, and a lot of these are spring, so I'm excited to break these out. This is Amouage Lilac Love Woman. Mm. Yeah, I used this the other day, actually, I'll keep it out. Roja Elixir, this is bursting everywhere, so I'm just going to get rid of it. It's a good fragrance, but I don't think I would buy it, but yeah, it's exploding everywhere. This one is Versace Vanitas. This is too heavy for me right now. I'm not going out. Versace is freaking loud. Loud. So you will be for another time. Kumba made Persian Garden Fragrance Oil. Honey. Is this not working anymore either? What is happening? Why can't I smell anything? These are all losing their fragrance. This is nuts. Maybe that's an old one. Cartier Baiser Volé. Oh, this is good. This is so green. This is like very light floral, but gr fresh. Like fresh cut roses when you cut the stem. That type of green smell. I love this. It's so unique. Um, Molinar Vanille. This is very, very rich vanilla for another time. Le Panthère by Cartier. No, do not like. Moscow Mule, oh, this is a good fragrance, but it's winter. I have about a couple spritzes left. Left. That's by Juliet Has a Gun. So good, but not for this time. Sunny Side Up, oh, also so good. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. I'm going to keep it out to remind myself that I want to get it. Anyway, what is this one? Eh, no, for winter time. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange these. I'll put that in my bathroom. I should put these up here. We'll put the Chanel up there. We'll put our like. Okay. And then all my samples and little roller balls I will put back in the little box here, the Bottega Louis box. Oh, is it gonna fit? Okay. Now for the final box. This is a big Chanel box that my bag came in. I use it for my perfume. Yeah! So, let's go through this. We have Roger et Gaillet from Paris. This is literally from a pharmacy in Paris. This is another orange blossom fragrance. Oh, this one is good. I hardly can smell anything, you guys. Oh, oh, this one is sharper. This one is clean and like cutting and 
Oh, this one is citrusy. I love this. Oh my gosh, you are staying out. I love you. Oh, I forgot I had this. This is the Nux Prodigieux Le Parfum. So everybody knows, or if you like French beauty, you know the Huile Prodigieuse. I think that's what it's called. Oh, I got this in Portugal last year around this time. I've hardly used it, but it is so good oh my gosh this is like a next level beachy fragrance like if you oh my gosh especially to spray in your hair like if i were going on a date i would just spray this in my hair and you will just uh smell like an expensive beachy goddess i love this i've got to keep this out this just lifts my spirits this is amazing this is uh elixir charnel by guerlain um oh my god like, first of all, this bottle, are you effing kidding? This is, oh my gosh, this smells mature. Like, it's not something that guys would be like, ooh, that's addictive, ooh, that's sexy. But it's so unique and so delicious. Actually, I want to put you up here and display you, baby, because you're so pretty. All right, then we have Zoella Sweet Inspirations. Does this still work? Yeah, this is really good. Oh my gosh! This takes me back to when I lived in Utah. This is what I sprayed on myself every night after a show. Like getting out of costume, I would spray this. It's so good and it's so cheap from Ulta. Yeah, this like brightens my day. I'll keep this out. Okay, Narciso Rodriguez. This is, I don't know which one this is. I got this in Austria years ago. This is like way too winter for me and I have some weird triggering memories associated with this but I keep it, I don't know why, it's weird. Jimmy Choo Illicit. This is a fragrance that is very, very special. This is a fragrance I wore while I was falling in love and throughout the relationship and this person loved this fragrance and would like, I came over once and they said they were like smelling their <laughs> smelling their couch for days because it smelled like this and they were like just shoving their face in there to smell me which is just sweet oh this is kind of stinky right now what this smells really alcoholic what's happening oh i guess that's what it smells like it's just some, I feel like when fragrances haven't been sprayed in a while or something, because a lot of you guys were like, don't throw those out. Fragrances can last 10 to 15 years. And I'm like, are you sure? Because it's funky. But this is good. I, it's also like a sexy going out dating fragrance. And I'm not dating anyone. And this is also sort of sad for me. I have no idea how I only, only used that much. This was like my signature fragrance for like two years. It's a cool bottle. It's very Great Gatsby to me. It's very pretty, actually. Ugh. Yeah, this this sprayer smells bad. I don't know. It makes me sad. I'll I, I'll come back to it. Um, Tom Ford Oud Wood. I already know this is winter. No. <laughs> Zara Oriental. This is really good, but again, this is winter to me, and I didn't even have it out for winter, but it's a really nice fragrance. It's like mature, sexy Mexican aunt. It's like what my Mexican aunt smells like, but she's so elegant and like dripping in gold and beautiful that that's exactly what I want to be, so. Okay, this is Rose 31 by Lalabo. This is, this is winter time to me. Oh, Ralph Lauren Bleu. Not blue, Ralph Lauren blue. Speaking of my aunt, my Mexican aunt turned me on to this fragrance. I She gave me, she smelled like this one night. Ugh, and I just was losing it. I was like, what are you wearing? You smell incredible. And it was just gorgeous. And she said, it's Ralph Lauren. I'm like, what are, Ralph Lauren, sorry. She's like, it's Ralph Lauren. I'm like, what? She brought down the bottle. She had a little bit of it left. And she's like, have it, take the bottle. So then I got this, uh, in uh, on Santee Alley in downtown LA and I feel like this is um, not the real fragrance <laughs> and same with the Hanne Mori but it smells like it but like the bottle is like you know like this cap is pretty light 
it's cheapy plastic. I'm like, y'all kind of ripped me off, but that's okay. I'm supporting small businesses. It's fine. Like Latino gang. But I freaking love this. This is elegant but approachable this is not snooty this is like not you don't need an occasion you know i feel like that's very ralph Lauren. is like elegance at all times you know whether you're being sporty or whether you have an event like this is it's totally an everyday fragrance okay byredo rose noir i straight up do not like this fragrance i just need to find someone to give it to <laughs> um oh joe malone red roses oh this is nice this is velvety it's so funny though, I am like obsessed with Orange Blossom now. Rose, like I love Rose, but I'm an Orange Blossom girl. Yeah, it's spring, like let's do this. It's springtime, come on. Can you fit? Okay, guess not, jeez. Um, okay, uh, Hermes Eau de Marveille Bleu. I think these are really good. I'm gonna put this in the box. I, I like Hermes a lot. Scentbird. Amouage Honor Woman. This is a white floral and this is a little less sexy than Carnal Flower. I'll keep this out as well, why not? Uh, another scent bird we have. Toka Simone. Um, I don't know, I literally cannot smell right now but I'm not obsessed with the Toka fragrances. A lot of them smell like toilet spray to me. So I'm just gonna, we're not gonna have her out. This one, which one is this? I know this. Oh, St. Thomas Nativa. Mm. Oh, this is Island Yal. Sexy, elegant Island Yal. Okay, yes. That is heinous. Don't ever tell anyone I did that. In Full Bloom by Kate Spade. I don't know. I can't smell this, but it's, I mean, bloom. Like, I'm not a floral girl. I have another Amazing Grace. This was the original carnal flower sample that I got and it's so good. I wish this were the bottle though, like a pure red bottle. How badass would that be? Nothing left, yeah. But it's kind of just like that black bottle. But that caught my eye. Okay, Picake Lay. This is another oil by Kumba Maid. Uh, I'm gonna save this if I go on vacation or something. It's like very, ooh, Hawaiian vacation. I mean, so is the Nativa but i'll keep it out but this is like very hawaiian vacation on the nose um peau de pierre what is this by stark a lot of these i'm just this is an oil that i have no idea what this is i think it's gone bad um oh ariana grande sweet like candy almost done with this this kind of smells weird too this is good i'll keep this out i like this one um more samples what is this this scent bird english laundry Oh, this one is like pineapple-y. Uh, I'm gonna save this one. I'm not crazy to have it out right now. Tom Ford Black Orchid. No. Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. I actually knew a guy who wore this and it was really good, but it's too heavy. I'll save it. Lavender Lace, Kumba Made. Um, I don't need a lavender fragrance right now, but this is a nice oil if you wanna experiment with lavender fragrance. Um, I get those at Sprouts. Oh, Hermès, un jardin sur le Nil. Eau de toilette. I really like this one. Hermès has such a unique way, like their fragrances, are, I, I could pick them out anytime. They have this very specific t family of notes to them. It's like Chanel, you know? Uh, le jour se lève by Louis Vuitton. I freaking love the Louis fragrances. I'm gonna keep this one out. I love the Louis fragrances, they're so good. Oh my God. Matière Noire and, oh this is another Oud, no Oud for me this spring. Matière Noire. I can't remember how this smells. I literally cannot smell right now, my nose is broken, but like dark matter, black matter, it's, it's springtime, you know, not right now, Louis. Mad Madame by Juliet Has a Gun. No, saving you. Lalique. Amethyst. I don't think I like this one, so you're actually going. This is definitely old. <laughs> Another black opium. No. Uh, we have Not a Perfume by Juliet Has a Gun. Heck yeah, we're gonna be using you. Ah! Okay, we'll do this in a second. Turbulence by Louis Vuitton. 
I'm just gonna keep all my Louis out because I wanna use them. This is an old rose oil that I got from a friend in London. I'm just gonna keep it. Lady Vengeance by Juliet Has a Gun. What is this? No, I don't like you. Mm -mm, that smells old. Rêve d'Enfini by Lalique. Last one. Oh my god, my head's going to explode. Oh, I kind of live for this one. Does anybody use Lalique fragrances out there who's watching me? I'm curious. I kind of love her. Okay. So now my small samples that I'm not using for this season, the roller balls and the sprays and all that, these will go in the Bottega Louis inside this Chanel box. This friend it's so dusty looking but oh my god it's not gonna fit is it oh yes okay i don't really love how that looks but what can you do and the ariana grande can go in there too i just don't like things falling over same with this okay um and all my winters are gonna go away into this little box here this little thing is ready to rock for spring I'm not crazy about how this looks right now, but I guess I'll, I can put a couple more up here. Hanny Mori. I think like they can all fit up here actually. Um, I will link this below if you like this little perfume sort of display moment. Um, it makes me feel very fancy and I, and I like having my perfumes out instead of, you know, in a box or just kind of strewn and looking sloppy. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little chit-chatty video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah! Bye, guys.